How's it going everyone? Welcome to another uh, home improvement vlog. Now uh, today I'm going to get on with painting these uh, wardrobes and I found the secret sauce. I found online uh, some guides on painting like um, uh, repainting furniture, painting ki kitchen cupboards and things like that from these bloggers. And the secret ingredient is Oatrol ESP, which is like some like, magic solution that you paint on and it kind of like etches um, the surface of like laminate furniture like, like this, like these doors, they've got like the chipboard underneath and they've got like that plasticky coating which if you try painting without like sanding it or anything it would just flake off so usually you'd have to you know sand it all down and then what I was going to spray it with the spray gun but apparently if you do it, to, if you give it a coat with this ESP stuff uh, then you can just paint over it as usual with your roller or your brush um, with um, you know normal um, gloss or satin wood, so that's the plan for today. Uh, I've also been reading up on uh, decorating techniques where uh, you know painting doors and things, where they do it with a, a foam roller and then lay off with the, uh, like a slightly wet brush. I'm going to give that technique a try and hopefully have a nice uh, a nice finish as, as a result. So uh, I think to, to use this stuff, I need to first give it a, a wipe down with panel wipe let's get all the grease and stuff off then I need to paint this all over it leave it for five minutes and leave it for two hours and that'll be ready for painting so let's give that a try Right, that's the secret sauce applied. We're gonna leave that for two hours now, so um, I'll see you in two hours. Two hours later. Right, it's time to give these wardrobes a coat of white satin and see if this ESP stuff has actually done its job. There we go, the wardrobes have been nicely freshened up with a coat of satin white. It's uh, brightened up nicely from that creamy colour they were previously. Uh, I did cut out a lot of the, uh, the, you know, the painting process. All I was doing basically is just rolling it on, brushing it, you know, laying it off with the brush. That technique did um, work pretty well. The, uh, if you can see it in the, uh, in the light, you can't really see the brush strokes and you can still see the grain uh, in the wood. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Quite happy with that finish. I guess only time will tell to see if this ESP stuff does actually work. It's, uh, it does seem quite uh, quite durable, obviously I don't want to pick it too much in case it does flake off, but um, there's been a couple of bits somewhere where, I think it's inside actually, where the ESP stuff didn't go onto the laminate and now obviously the paint, you can easily scrape it off then. So I think it, it, it must have done done its job on the main fronts. I'll show you the uh, the finishing touch I've added. Just one second. We need uh, we need to put the blinds down for this. Right, I think that should be enough here. Ready? Ta da! What do you reckon to my uh, LED mood lighting? <laughs> uh, it's it's only temporarily uh, fixed in place at the moment. I've uh, I've yet to um, you know install install it properly. I'm probably not be able to see with the GoPro lens, but it's only just taped in place at the moment. Just put it on just to test it and see what it looks like. But uh, I'll be uh, fixing that in place permanently as one of my next jobs. It is currently set to a uh, custom colour, like a pinky colour that kind of matches Laura's colour scheme. I can set it into like red, green, blue, or I can go for all sorts of colours, including disco mode. <laughs> but I think I'll keep it in uh, pink. <laughs> Uh, I think that looks uh, the uh, the nicest. So that just about wraps up another quick little uh, house update video. Uh, stay tuned for uh, plenty more. I've got um, what else have I got left to do? Or oh, lighting? That's one. Uh, more lighting. That's another thing I've got uh, left to do. I've got the uh, the landing light. We've got a nice like chandelier glass thing to hang up there. Hopefully I'll not kill myself uh, hanging over this banister to do it because it weighs a ton. It's loaded like grass glass glass crystals. 
and I've got to uh, replace this old medieval looking thing. I don't really want to be hanging over there and fall down there. <laughs> So that's one of my next jobs. Uh, I think I'm going to get Laura to hold my ladders at least when I'm doing that. And then I've got some lighting to do in my office room because it's quite dark in there at the moment. <laughs> so stick around for those videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.